Hi everyone and welcome to Morning Coffee Break. It's warming up nicely out here today. Clear skies. It's supposed to get up to about 54. So that's not too bad. Sun's shining on me here. It feels good sitting in my chair. Some sunshine. Birds are singing. A few of them anyway. They got down to at least 30 or, or below last night. I'll take you here in a minute and show you what happened to the sump flowers. And then I'm going to uncover the garden since it's warming up now. Hope everybody's doing good today. I'm doing pretty good. Um, I want to pre uh, mention I appreciate everybody's awesome support. Uh, my watch time has been blowing up lately and uh, the, uh, a few days ago I think it was on last Wednesday I believe it was when I had quite a few videos and Logan had his snack reviews we had like 52 hours watch time for one day that's fantastic y'all that's a record for me you know I think the previous the uh, closest one before that was like 45 that's that's like wow seven more hours so I really appreciate it and I appreciate all my new uh, subscribers very much uh, you know I look forward to watching your content too I'll do the best I can I, I watched probably yesterday I probably watched 40 videos and that's time consuming but it's something that you got to do you got to support each other and, you know, I, I, I sometimes get behind if things happen, which everybody does, I'm sure. But I always try to get caught up. You know, I, I do get caught up, but it takes me a little while sometimes. So, just everybody be patient with each other. And we all, we all support each other in my, our community here. I've got my tumbler that I got yesterday at Dollar Tree when uh, Mommy and Kimberly's Adventure sent me a, a $10 gift card for my birthday. That it was November 3rd was my birthday. And uh, yes, I turned 60. And I love the, anything with the trucks on it. So this is my my holiday coffee tumbler. It's nice. Okay, I'll take you out here. The yeah, the stump flowers aren't faring too well, but there's no use in covering them up. You know, it's going to happen anyway, real soon if it didn't already. And the crane is still out there. They actually took it away last night and then came back today. I guess it's too dangerous to leave it. Can you imagine what that's costing this person? I can't imagine what that's costing. I don't know what they're doing besides that. They must be doing more than just that one tree that you see that's cut partially. Because they'll be cutting all day long on other things and I don't see them. I think I see a guy. What they're doing is they're raising this guy up and down on a on like a strap. He's got like, he's, he'll be like standing on it and they raise him up. And he does stuff. That's even crazier than what he was doing the other day. You can see it moving up right now a little. That red ball. If you watch it, he might be on it right now since they're lifting it up. Let's see if he's on it. You see the strap down below it. I don't have my, I don't, well it's going back down now, but I don't have my telescope on it right now or you could really see it good. But that's crazy what they're doing. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, not me. I haven't got to do it. But what's happening is all these will come out and they'll be all droopy. See what I mean? It's just, you may as well just pull them off like that. I toss them down here. Maybe I don't know if they have any seeds in them or not. But they're going to be all like that. Just, they're just real droopy, you know, from the, from the cold. But as I was saying earlier, uh, no, well, I didn't talk about it. It was yesterday, I guess. These blue ones, they don't seem, I don't know how 
good you can see that very effective uh, affected by it see so maybe they'll be able to I mean there's still more of these growing I mean blooming our little fellow down here looks okay see the little bud in there but this one here is starting to bend over so I don't know if it'll work or not but you can see what's you come out there'll be a bunch of them like this but some of them are okay but it's going to be keep getting colder and colder so uh, i'd say it'll and, and the foliage too as you can see if y'all have been watching me every day you know this was real like you know uh, soft and stuff but uh, i think it's gonna i think it's gonna kill this stuff off too i just hope with the you know i hope the tree I, I would call it almost like a tree. I hope it uh, survives to where it'll grow again next year. If not, I'll just plant some more of them. Yeah. That turned that old stump into something nice. And that's where I get the word stump flowers. Because that's a stump they're growing in. Hickory stump. All right, let me take this off everything the only reason i really covered this is because of my cauliflower and cabbage i'm gonna keep doing this i mean why not you know something might things might survive some of them uh, some might not you know it looks like the habanero right now i can see i can see the habanero didn't do too good uh-oh guys put you back in place did it get a little cold last night, guys? Yeah, yeah, I tell you what, I'm glad you put that blanket over us. Boy, we had to get really, really close together to keep warm. Yeah, I tell you what, pretty soon we're gonna have to come in before it snows. Yeah, I promise I'll be bringing you in. Yeah, the habanero, I'll, I'll just pull this one. It's, you can see it killed it. And this one's about gone. This is orange snack box. I can at least get the seeds out of these. I hope they're mature enough. And you can see the tomatoes about got finished off. Hopefully the winter ones will be that I'm growing will be okay. Yeah. It's a little that's a little wilty this morning. But it, it should perk up and the cabbage looks okay. It's got the little bitty cabbage in there. I don't know what these are. They look like some kind of a pea. Here. Looks like it's not doing anything anyway. I think it was just mixed in with some other seeds somehow. I'll bet these peppers don't look too great either. Yep. I knew this was going to happen, y'all. I'm just trying to put it off, so... Yeah. I'll have to get what's left of these peppers off here today. That's any count. and I mean, you can still use them like this. This small. I got quite a few on there, but well, I'm disappointed, but I've just been trying to put it off, y'all. I mean, can't blame me, but okay, you've seen how the tarp was very ineffective. This here is really a weed cover thing, but it's ineffective, you can see. Let's see how good the uh, plastic wrap did. I mean, I'm afraid all this is going to die, but never know. I'll do my best to keep it from happening. Take that off. This is how I've been keeping this in on this side. Just pull these lights up and then put them back. Go back here. Got a rock on that. Oh, I see a little reddish. Well, these look pretty good. Let's see if we can cover this radish up a little. This one. There's one too. So it's growing some radishes. And them look pretty good. The ones closer to the outside, it looks like it might have killed them some. Oops, I'm standing on a I'm standing on an onion. Okay, let me get back out here and I think that cucumber's about had it, so. 
Okay. Mm, the top of it, it's done something too. Well, all in all, I guess it could have been worse. I got this thing I need to, I'm putting on the top. Uh, these might perk up, but some of them are okay back here. These are some kind of peppers. I don't know the top of that one doesn't look good and the flowers don't look good. They're, the flower is now like translucent here. So that's, it's killed that, but some of these that I transplanted are trying to perk up back here. Let me see if I can cover this one up a little. There we go. This is trying to actually perk up some. Maybe these will survive. These are turnips and kale back there, but there's, the kale got choked out, I think. So all in all, this pepper plant's still hanging in there, the banana pepper. These might be banana peppers over here. The green beans are trying to hang in there, except at the top is where they're getting hit the worst. You can see the plastic was very much more effective. Look here, all this with different things. So use plastic sheeting, y'all. I got it at uh, Dollar Tree in the painting section, I believe. You can see the turnips and kale look fine over here. So I'm happy about that. The onions look fine back there. Um, I don't grow anything right against the house so I can walk back through there and plus the awning, it doesn't get as much uh, rain because of the awning anyway back there. So I gotta be able to get back behind everything. So all in all, I guess this half that I use the plastic on is looking really good. This half that I use the tarp and the, this whatever it is, didn't do good at all. So I'll do some damage control today. I might pull up some more. I don't have room to put those tomato branches in the trash can because we got to swap this other trash can out. And that's a long story. So let's see what happens when they get some sun to them. Maybe something will perk up. warmed up good you know I mean this is going to happen anyway and I just hate it because I've really enjoyed my garden but I, the, the other things besides the winter vegetables it's a miracle they're still here at all already so you know once they go I'll have the winter things to concentrate on it's too late to plant anything else as far as I know. Do y'all know anything that can be planted as, as it gets even colder? I, I'm not I'm not on, up on that, uh, on the fall vegetables. This is the first time I've tried growing anything in the fall. That was a little longer update, but it was needed to show you what's going on. Uh, y'all that, I, a lot of y'all have said that you were gonna grow some things next year after watching, you know, you say you, you've, I, I appreciate you say you've learned some from me. I don't know everything. I'm still learning myself, but you know, I, I'm on top of it every day and I watch every change and everything. And I've listened uh, to a lot of, uh, suggestions that have helped me a whole lot uh, I appreciate any suggestions you know what to do or if I'm doing something wrong I don't I don't mind constructive criticism at all and uh, <clears throat> next year I'll the things that I learned I won't do the same mistakes <clears throat> I'm not growing any cucumbers because I keep getting blight on them and they take up a lot of space and that's valuable back here. You can see it's just a small space, but if y'all have watched me or if you watch my playlist, 
you'll see every video I made of garden videos for 2019. You can see from the start to the finish how things went and what went wrong and everything like that. It's, it's, it was an amazing journey this year. And we really got a lot out of it, of this little space, a lot. And we helped, helped people with it too. We gave a lot of it away that wouldn't have fresh vegetables, or if they did, they would be paying a high price for something that's you know, much inferior. And they, you know, they were organic and everything like that. So, I did have to use some seven dust once or twice. I it about killed something, some little fuzzy, looked like baby, super small caterpillars were all over my green beans, and they were just destroying it. You know, and I was had just planted some my second crop, so I had to do something. But I don't like to use anything like that. Well, there's a jet over there. I don't know if you can see it or not. The sky looks great today. Hadn't been as many birds. I do believe a lot of them have gone, you know, south. I think the starlings will probably stay, a lot of them. But you can, I don't know if y'all can see that jet over there near that tree going straight up. But if you're new to my channel, you know, it's Life with Mike. I record a lot of things that happen in my life. You know, it's like a chronicle of my life. And I stay busy, as you can tell, if you see how many videos I do. I try to make them all quality family videos. Family, you know, your family can watch them. I don't, I don't think I've ever had a video that your family couldn't watch. Some of the jib jabs have a little bit of, you know, they'll show people in the background dressed a certain way or something. But, you know, that's, you're going to see that all over TV or anything. It's not anything, you know. I haven't put anything I don't think on that's vulgar or anything like that. But the jib jabs are the only thing, you know, when I, they're like videos of music and they, I don't have any control over what's in them. So I try not to use any of them that are, I watch the whole thing real thoroughly before I decide to use it or not. So, wow, that jet's really going like straight up. That's crazy. You can see the trail. It's because it's cold out. I think people like to call them uh, chemtrails. You know, you don't know what what's in those trails, they say. But on morning coffee break, I just like to talk about the day or I, I've been doing, you know, garden updates because it's, it's changing, you know, and, uh, well, I mean, everybody liked to, told me I was doing a garden update about once a week, but a lot of people said that, you know, things change day to day in a garden and they didn't, they, they looked forward to watching my updates, you know, and, uh, so I, I've been doing that. I also do a show every now and then. I didn't put it in, I didn't tell you about it earlier, but uh, it's called Tablet Time. And that's where I uh, get on and show everybody what's in my tablet, which there's a million things in there all the time. And there's usually a lot of funny stuff in there. Uh, I need to do one of those. I haven't done one in over a week. So I may do one of those today, y'all, just depending on what happens today. I don't think we have to go anywhere today. Oh, yes, I said I would do a review on that movie. Uh, I'm trying to think exactly what the title was. Scary Stories. I know it's Scary Stories something. That's what it says in the title. But uh, it was pretty good. It was pretty scary, too, some of it. Uh, you know, got a few gross moments in it for your kids if you... You know, if you worry about your kids seeing stuff, but 
it had pretty good action in it. Um, it had some fairly decent, uh, like not animation, but you know, uh, effects, special effects, a few things uh, with the like monster things or whatever they were. And, uh, all in all, it was a pretty good movie. I thought that it was different, like three or four different short stories the way it said scary stories or whatever, but it's part of the plot, like, if that makes sense. The stories are told like in the in the movie, but they don't. It's it's not separate things anyway. Separate stories. So that was uh, you know, it was pretty good. So I you know if you like scary movies, you'll like it. I believe. So I would probably give it a out of five stars. I would probably give it like three and a half. You know, it, it wasn't you know the best movie I've seen, but it wasn't the worst either. But it's a lot cheaper for us to rent one from Redbox. My goodness, there's another another uh, jet going straight up. I guess, sure, that can't be the same one because the other one was going straight up and went past. It couldn't have gone around already. So that's the second one. They're doing some kind of training, I'd say. That thing, I can't see it good for the sun. I can't tell what the jet actually looks like. But it is moving fast. Whew. Well, I'm gonna go get a little bit more coffee and y'all relax for a minute and listen to the sounds of the neighborhood. That guy's been up there at that church with a big old uh, leaf blower is what you're hearing probably. I seen him up there a minute ago.
Now we got some birdies. Hi, birdies. If I'd ever have enough out there, I'd use my telescope. It really gets close. It looks great. If you if you want to see any, go in my playlist and you'll see where I. Uh, the picture the the. Uh, the picture on the video, you know, that you show the thumbnail, you'll see it looks different. It's like up and down, and you'll see like a round circle. That's the telescope. And I was able to get pretty close with them because I was doing it from the kitchen window. That's the most I've seen at one time in about a week out there. It's good to see different ones. Those two on the right and the little ceramic one, they're different than the ones, those look like starlings on the left. And there's a dove down at the bottom, at the bottom of the pole. I cleaned it all out yesterday where it rains. When it rains, the seeds get wet, especially in the ceramic one. And uh, they ferment and they smell awful and the birds can't eat them. If the birds do eat them, they'll get drunk. Like, which is, you know, I'm sure it's not good for them. And so I went and emptied the, the big feeder out, cleaned it all out real good, cleaned out the one on the right real good and filled them up. I'm not putting anything in that hummingbird feeder right now. I haven't seen the hummingbirds in a while. I'm thinking maybe they've took off. I haven't seen one. If I see any, I'll put something in it, but there's no use in wasting that nectar because you have to change it like every about four days, it was, I think, or it'll ferment too because of the sugar in it. So if you have hummingbird feeders, you know, which you get them at Dollar Tree and everybody gets them and they don't know, you know, what to do. And uh, if you leave that stuff in there, it'll make them sick if you leave it in too long to where it ferments. So you do have to change it regularly. So I never kept that much in it at one time. You know, just enough to where they could get some. And then that way I wasn't wasting it. I got, I was using some ready-made nectar that I got from Aldi, which was very convenient, but I've got some bags of this powder stuff you mix from Dollar Tree that I haven't used yet. I think I'm just gonna save them till next year if I don't see any more.